the sun's kind of weird, but I just got down here to Atlantic County, New Jersey, where I'm going to be going to Forsyth National Wildlife Refuge in Brigantine, also known as Brig. This is the spot that I've been to where it's the eight mile loop that you can drive around. And right now there is currently a snowy owl there. So I have not seen a snowy owl since March 2018. I'm hoping that I can photograph this snowy owl because I've never really gotten really good pictures of a snowy. We're going to have to see, I don't know, but I'm hoping that I at least see it. And we're just going to see what happens. Snowy owls are a cool bird. And as I've talked about the winter finch invasion, there's also an, a small invasion of other northern species such as snowy owls, rough-legged hawks, northern shrikes. Pretty much every northern bird is coming south this year for whatever reason. So we just turned onto the loop and I just saw it is literally on the 15 mile per hour sign right on the side of the road. Like this sign right here, it's that close up there. This is insane. Oh my goodness. Well, there we go. Just got on the loop. The first section of the loop right there was the snowy owl. I was able to get my best ever shots of snowy owl. It had its eyes closed, so you can't really see its eyes. They've got these cool yellow eyes, but I was still able to get great shots. I was able to take the shots from the car, so didn't even have to get out of the car and got my best ever shots of snowy owl. And now that I got the owl, I'm gonna start scanning through all this other stuff that's here because right now out there, We've got some ducks and we got some Dunlin and there's still a lot of really good stuff here. But I'm just so excited about the snowy owl right now. Got some pintails, male and female, right there. Got this flock here, which is all shovelers and green winged teal. And a few pintail mixed in. So continuing along, not a whole lot of other things that are really special. There is a bunch of good waterfowl here, a lot of teal, shovelers, all kinds of stuff. And the snowy owl actually wound up flying right in front of the car, which was kind of unfortunate because there's so many people here that are just keep crowding this owl and chasing it down. And while I did get some pictures, I didn't even get out of the car and I probably spent less than two minutes looking at it. I didn't, I didn't fuss with my camera settings. I just put it in AV and just took a few shots. Oh, black duck flying by. But anyway, I think sometimes people need to realize that you need to be careful with these owls because owls stress really easily, especially owls like snowy owls. And when they stress easily, they don't preen themselves. They won't even eat sometimes. And unfortunately, that eventually leads to them dying sometimes. And I mean, that doesn't happen very often. That happens in very severe cases. But it's just such a shame to see all these people just chasing this owl down and crowding it down. So I hope that uh, people will respect these things and that's why I'm just talking about it quickly. Got the first snow use of the year out there. The grayer ones are juveniles and the white ones are adults. They're just starting to come in. In March and once it gets later in the winter there'll be thousands of them here. There's just a few. So right out there we got a flock of Dunlin. I'm scanning through it to see if I can find any long-billed dowagers because I know there's been a few around here. So far I've not seen any long I have seen a few black-bellied plovers mixed in. Seems to be about it. On that island out there, that's a bald eagle. Really, really far. Well, I've been looking for some long-billed dowagers. We scanned through a lot of Dunlin flocks, wasn't finding anything. Decided to take a quick look and find the first one on the way out. And right here, mixed in with these yellow legs, are the long-billed dowagers. There we go. There we go, ended out our time here at Forsyth on a high note with those long-billed dowagers. 
I have not seen long billed dowagers in a while, so that was really nice to see them. And in some ways, I kind of cheated because long billed dowagers are really the only dowagers that are here this time of year. There's long billed and short billed, and in the summer, they're they're both here. Although long billed is always kind of rare, but now that's really the only dowager they really could be seen. And I, it wasn't just that they were they they're kind of they have a longer bill that you can kind of see, and they're just kind of a a fatter, kind of chunkier shorebird more so than short billed dowager. All right, so gonna head home in a few minutes, but just wanted to wrap things up, and it was just a great day. I was able to get the snowy owl, which was my main target goal for coming down here. I will say it was kind of disappointing to see how much people were harassing this bird, and that's why I just wanted to make a quick point. I did go chase it, and I did get a few pictures, but the main thing, you just don't want to be chasing this thing down and spending huge amounts of time looking at it. So anyway, I was glad that I got to see it. It was an awesome bird. Snowy owls are just, they're, they're awesome, they're magical to see. And it was really cool to see the long-billed dowagers too, because after driving around the entire loop, I just thought, you know what, I'll take a quick drive down the gold pond and see if I could get anything. And that was really cool to get the long-billed dowagers because I really didn't think I was gonna get them. And I'm thinking that's, that's about it. There was, I did miss, there was an eared grebe scene and a white pelican. I really looked for the white pelican and I did not get it. And as for the eared grebe, it was seen in a spot where I saw some grebes and I did like a quick scan through them and I thought they were just all horned grebes, but my guess is probably one of those grebes was actually the eared grebe. But I did get eared grebe this year and the views wouldn't have even been that good either. Now I'm just out here listening to some songbirds. Sounds like there's some chickadees and titmice and stuff. But just wanted to wrap things up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.